I'm Rich from Neowind. Today we're taking a look at macOS Big Sur. And this is actually version 11. By the way, you can see the 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 the, the default wallpaper here. I don't know. I, I can't really get it to change, so I'm just going to leave it. But what we're really looking at in this update is a whole new design. But just to show, if we go to About This Mac, it is absolutely version 11 marking the end of about 20 years or so of Mac OS 10. And remember, like, the thing is, it was always called 10.1, 10.2, although we thought this was going to be 10.16. And in fact, when you update to the beta, it calls itself an update to 10, to, uh, an update to 10.16. And because really, uh, Mac OS 10, it started out as Mac OS 10, then it was just OS 10, then it was Mac OS, because 10 wasn't really the version number, 10 was really the brand, and ju just like Windows 10, you know, so now it's version 11, finally, and so I, I don't think that marks any kind of major change, like this is actually the biggest change since the first Mac OS 10, and I it seems to me like 10, like 11 isn't the kind of brand like 10 is. So I would expect that next year will probably be version 12 and they'll probably just start using whole numbers after that like they do for every other one of their operating systems rather than seeing 11.1 next year. So that's <laughs> that's the version number. Now you're looking at an all new design. You can notice that the dock has been changed. And if you look along that dock, we have all new icons. And what's pretty cool about that is that they're not, so flat anymore. They're not huge differences to where you where you wouldn't be able to recognize them, but they're big enough differences. Like they, there's there's a little more depth. There's some shadow, and it, it's undoing a little bit of what was done in that iOS seven era. And then I think they did it to um, OS ten. You know, maybe a couple of years later or whatever. Other things that are new, we now have a control center on the Mac, just like you have on your iPhone or iPad, and uh, it does. That type of stuff. You can turn your Wi-Fi on or off, Bluetooth, AirDrop, um, adjust the brightness, adjust sound, and and that's about it. You know, um, obviously there's going to be some customization options where you can add options. You can actually drag and drop items from the control center to the the menu bar up here as well, or you should be able to at some point if that doesn't work now. Uh, menus have been redesigned. So there's a lot more, um, it's almost like Microsoft's Fluent Design with, with a little bit more rounded corners, but you have that transparency. Microsoft would call it acrylic, where it's transparent, but it's also not completely clear. It's blurred. So you can see a little bit of the wallpaper through that menu, but, you know, and then of course there's a little bit of a, almost a, it's not really a shadow element, more of a border around, around the, the menu. So they're kind of floating a little bit. We have a new notification center, if I could get this to load, yes, um, and those combine widgets and notifications, so they're the same brand new, Apple introduced all new widgets, and a lot of the stuff that you're going to see in macOS Big Sur that I'm going to show is stuff that we've already shown in iOS and iPadOS, because obviously there's a lot of continuity between all of Apple's operating systems. So we have all new widgets. Now they come in different shapes and sizes. And um, they're a lot more colorful. They're not that old uh, gray and mostly text-based thing. They're a lot more colorful. They look nicer. They're prettier. They're a lot easier on the eyes. So you can, of course, edit widgets. You can, um, well, maybe you can, ah, there you go. Yeah, so you can, you can add widgets. You can edit a specific widget. For some reason, it flips it around if you do that. But... <laughs> It just looks weird. Yeah, so you, you can add widgets. You can do all that stuff. On iOS, you can actually add it to the home screen. On iPadOS, you can't. And obviously, in macOS, they stay in the in the notification center. So yeah, they're like... And oh, by the way, one other thing. If you're using third-party widgets, those do have to be redesigned by the app maker. Otherwise, you're going to have to go and, and use one of those... The old style. You know, they also, I believe they showed being able to resize widgets where, where you have that, um, the small one, which I mean, <laughs> I'm going to go back to Microsoft. I'm going to call it a medium tile. I'm going to call this a wide tile. And I think you should be able to adjust between those. Um, because, you know, I, I mean, I, I'm calling them tiles now, just like Windows. Jesus. Anyway, <laughs> going back to where we were. 
Now we got the control center, notification center, new design. The big focus is that new design and the control center and the notification center and, and how it changes a little bit of what works and how it works, but it doesn't change it in an unfamiliar way. Uh, we have some new features in maps, uh, cycling directions, which I'll just pull up uh, some random address from, I don't even know where they get these addresses from, but whatever. Cycling addressin, uh, uh, directions, they don't work yet, or at least they don't work where I live. We'll go right through that. We've got messaging improvements. If we pull up messages here, if it works this time, it did, great. Um, we can now pin conversations, and you could just drag to pin, whereas uh, on iOS or something, you can swipe to pin, or iPad OS, you can swipe to pin, then you can you can drag to pin on Mac OS and then you can you'll have be able to have group conversations and then in this in this pin um, you'll see a speech bubble when you get a new message and it'll stay there until you check the message. Let's just get out of messages here. Of course there's Safari improvements. They added translation, which I haven't been able to get to work to be honest. But um there's a few other things. Translation's big though this year because they um they introduced a new translation app for iOS and there's lots of fun stuff like that. So other things that are new in Safari is, again, stuff that Microsoft has done. Now, now you notice that it does, you get the icon when you make it small enough or if you have enough tabs open. So what you can do is you can hover over it and you'll be able to see a uh, tab preview. This is something that Microsoft did originally in Edge. And so tab previews are there and, you know, of course you can expand it if you just want to see everything. But the tab previews help to see what you're going to. Now, this is something, and, and I mentioned this, I, I, I don't think I can close Safari at this point. Oh, there we go. <laughs> it's, a, it's a developer beta. If you install it, you're doing it at your own risk. There are obviously issues. There's always going to be issues with a developer beta. And, you know, I, I mentioned things that are being borrowed from Windows here because I'm not the type of person to go and say, oh, you know, that they, they copied this from Windows. They copied this iOS feature from Android. But it, it's, it's because... To me, that's like if they didn't do it, then you're just kind of robbing users of, of an experience. You know, um, it's the same thing. That, like there's a lot of stuff that's new. Like they they took some of the best features from Android and Windows for this for this generation. For example, on iOS 14, home screen widgets. They have an app drawer now. So it, it's fair to say that like it, it's a lot more like Android features that Android users have been enjoying since like 2008. You know, so. I'm not the type of person that's gonna say, "Oh, welcome to 2008, Apple." No, it's it's just like 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 they finally did it. And if you're an iOS user, you can embrace it. If you're a Mac OS user, you can embrace the 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 new widgets that that are a lot like Live Tiles were. You can you can embrace the the tab previews and and all that good stuff because really it's just about an, an improvement for you. So that's about it that I've got. Um, if you've got any features that you'd like to see shown off, uh, leave a comment, and I'll, I'll try to do it. Anyway, guys, that's it. I'm Rich from Neowin. Have a great night.